Good morning everyone, I'm going to show you how to connect these trust members here, like this, in Revit. Okay, now I'm going to show you how it looked before. Okay, this is another trust that was next to the other one, and I'm going to show you how to join them together. Okay, the first thing we have to do is edit these. So, I need the whole of this covered here. And so I'm going to extend it to this line, or manually extend it. And the same for the other side, actually. It should stop up to here. Okay, now to join these members, you need this tool, cope. Okay, and we need to extend these as well. Okay, now once your trust looks like this, we need to use the tool over here called cope. And then you select the member that you want to cope into the other member. And that happens. So let's do it for all of them. By the way, you might have noticed a gap in there. You can get rid of this gap by changing the coping distance over here in the properties panel. I'll make it two because there should be a small tolerance in real life. Okay, now I'm going to cope the rest of these. So and remove their coping and I'm going to change all their coping distance to 2 mil ok, that's how you do it by the way, if you're wondering why this is connected like this, if you were to move this over, it would help to fix the problem. Let's add a line in. And there you have your trust joined together. Don't forget to check technicaldraft.com for more architecture and technical drawing.